Are you building an application that needs low latency and high throughput? Then you will need a database that can scale for a large number of reads and writes. Cloud Bigtable is designed to handle just that. Hi, I'm Priyanka Vergaria, and this is GCP Sketchnote, where I pick a Google Cloud concept and give you a quick overview. In this video, let's look at Cloud Bigtable, a fully managed white column NoSQL database that scales to petabytes of data. It's optimized for low latency, large number of reads and writes, and maintaining performance at scale. It offers a really low latency of the orders of single milliseconds, and it is an ideal data store for time series and map reduce style operations. Now, Bigtable supports the open source HBase API standard to easily integrate with the Apache ecosystem, including HBase, Beam, Hadoop, and Spark. It also integrates with Google Cloud ecosystem, including Memory Store, BigQuery, Dataproc, Dataflow, and more. Data is by default encrypted with Google managed encryption keys, but for specific compliance and regulatory requirements, if customers need to manage their own keys, then customer managed encryption keys are also supported. Bigtable Backups lets you save a copy of the table schema and data and then restore from the backup to a new table at a later time. How does it offer scale and high availability? Well, let's see. Bigtable delivers a highly predictable performance that is linearly scalable, and the throughput can be adjusted by adding and removing nodes. Each node provides up to 10,000 queries per second for reads and writes, and you can use Bigtable as the storage engine for large-scale, low-latency applications, as well as throughput-intensive data processing and analysis. And it offers a high availability with SLAs of 99.5% for zonal instances. It is also strongly consistent in a single cluster. Replication adds eventual consistency across two clusters and increases the SLAs to 99.99%. So if that's your need, then go for a replicated cluster. Now, replication for Cloud Bigtable enables you to increase the availability and durability of your data by copying it across multiple regions or multiple zones within the same region. So how does Bigtable optimize throughput? Let's see. It does that through separation of processing and storage. So Cloud Bigtable is able to automatically configure throughput by adjusting the association of nodes and data. In the rebalancing example here, if node A is experiencing a heavy load, then the routing layer can move some of the traffic to a less heavily loaded node, improving the overall performance. The resizing comes into play when a node is added to again ensure a balanced load across nodes. This ensures the best overall throughput. Choice of app profile and traffic routing can also affect performance. An app profile with multi-cluster routing automatically routes requests to the closest cluster in an instance from the perspective of the application, and the writes are then replicated to other cluster in the instance. This automatic choice of the shortest distance results in the lowest possible latency. Now, for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, Bigtable is used for large-scale, real-time workloads in financial tech, ad tech, gaming, IoT, machine learning, AI personalizations, and more. Now, here's an example of real-time bidding platform where hundreds of thousands of click-throughs are ingested in Google Cloud using PubSub messaging service. Then they're processed in Dataflow and stored in Cloud Bigtable. In parallel, this data is sometimes also stored in Cloud Storage, which acts as a data lake, or BigQuery, which acts as data warehousing and analysis solution. There you have it, Cloud Bigtable, a fully managed NoSQL wide column database for real time, low latency, and high throughput transactions. For more information, I have included the link to the documentation below. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more cloud content. If you have suggestions on the topics that you would like to see, put them in the comments below.